He served his country 80 years ago, and now he's stepping up again to help out his community. This Colorado veteran who just turned 100 is again answering the call to action. Jeremy Hubbard has his story. Dear Mr. Blake, thank you so much for taking the time today. Most 100-year-olds don't get fan mail. There are not enough words to express my deep appreciation for you. But over the years, notes from total strangers have appeared in George Blake's mailbox with gratitude for his role in history. He was stationed at Pearl Harbor. December 7th. I was only there a few minutes. 1941. And there was this tremendous sound. The day America was thrust into World War II. We came out of the building and the sky was full of planes. More than 2,400 Americans died in that attack. They were all kids. And you could say a little part of George. 19, yeah. Died that day too. George is the last Pearl Harbor survivor in his small Colorado County, one of the last in the entire country. But a few months ago, 80 years later, this veteran signed up to serve his community once again when a friend had an idea for a fundraiser leading up to George's 100th birthday. He said, would you get 100 walks in by your birthday? Can you do that? I said, I think so. So I did. Did he ever, for more than three months, in the thin mountain air, 7,000 feet above sea level, there he was, every day. So my 100th birthday. And on his birthday, he's the one who gave the present to his hometown. More than $10,000 raised through his walks to help a local nonprofit serving families during the pandemic. From Pearl Harbor to his front patio, service is who George Blake is. Thank you again for your time today. It's no wonder he has so many fans. That would be a tremendous surprise and gift.